Hello everyone. I know it has been a while. It's always kind of a while between my videos. Um, it's kind of the way with oil painting. But um, in this video, I did something very different from what I normally do. Um, I think I had been experiencing a little bit of artist burnout where I was putting so much pressure on myself to complete these um, quote-unquote masterpieces of original art and I think I just needed a bit of a break and um, so I thought what better way to do that than to kind of revisit my childhood um, do something Sailor Moon inspired and also um, kind of participate in an art challenge which is something I don't regularly do so I searched around and chose this gorgeous screenshot of Luna restoring Sailor Moon or Serena's memories and it's really just one of those things that was super inspiring when I was growing up. Um, the fantasy, the cat, the moon is also amazing. Sailor Moon has definitely been one of the greatest influences on me um, growing up and as an adult. I think this show instilled a sense of girl power unlike any other show was able to do before and to this day I will if I'm feeling like I'm lacking confidence or I need to really amp up any kind of energy I can watch a scene from Sailor Moon and just kind of reinstill those values in myself of you know justice and doing the right thing and working hard to accomplish my goals so definitely one of my favorite favorite memories of childhood and even as an adult is Sailor Moon so it was really exciting to be able to choose this screenshot and do it in my style and even then it this while this was supposed to be more of a stress-free exercise, because I was out of my comfort zone, I generally don't do things that are so zoomed out with multiple figures, with cityscapes, so even though this was just a simple hard cell uh, anime screenshot, recreating it for myself definitely had challenges that I, you know, might not have experienced if I were painting something of my own creation, something original, because I don't know if cityscapes are something I generally uh, am interested in, but the way that the way that they're drawn in Sailor Moon are just so magical and so fantastical that it was a fun step out of my comfort zone that still was something that spoke to me. And um, so saying all that, it was still a challenge for me, even though this was supposed to be stress-free, but you know, that's what art challenges are all about. They're about stepping out of your comfort zone, doing something new, and um, maybe discovering something that you didn't give a chance before. So painting this, even though it's it's a 16 by 20 canvas, but the, because there's such a zoomed out uh, angle or camera scope, the face is all very tiny, so painting a face that small was, was new for me, um, but it was so fun. It was fun to paint a cat. It was fun to paint like a, a laser beam of magic. I really enjoyed it. Um, and then, of course, I haven't gotten there yet in the video, but at first I think I start to be very on the nose with the screenshot. But then, of course, you know, the artist in me took over and I added some of my own um, classic Sailor Moon touches that weren't necessarily in the screenshot, but I felt like I really wanted to incorporate them because who doesn't love the beautiful light orbs that are all over the city um, and the magical bubbles and stuff like that? So I definitely kind of took it and then went my own way with it. To really push the Sailor Moon aesthetic that I am absolutely in love with. This was definitely an interesting challenge for me because I don't generally 
spend any time doing fan art, but it was so nice to do something completely different and have that no pressure or low pressure um, and just kind of have the template from the screenshot and see how I can push it and make it my own style. Um, I do recommend this challenge for those who are interested because it's it's great to have something push you outside of that and it really kind of opened my mind to some new things that I might do in the future more with fan art more with um, making odes to my favorite things because honestly I enjoy making art out of the things that I loved as a child. So that's definitely possibly going to see more of that from me in the future. Um, but it also was such a nice reprieve from painting or from the stress of being in my own head and trying to come up with ex the exact thing in my head and how to make that come out on the, on the canvas the way that I wanted to. So taking that step back, I think, really recharged my artistic brain so that I was able to kind of rest it in a way that once I'm ready to, now that I'm ready to wake it back up, I do have all these new ideas and things that I want to paint that are my own. And um, yeah, so this is just kind of in more of a ramble than anything else. But I hope you guys enjoy this kind of different painting from me and um, if you've got any suggestions for things going forward do I think I might be more open to art challenges going forward so if you've got any that are a good suggestion for an oil painter or possibly with watercolors um, do do just put it in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video if you think someone might like it um, yeah, uh, just so you guys are all aware, I did use Gamblin oil paints, and that's all. That's all I used, Gamblin oil paints. Um, yeah, I will be varnishing this soon, so you can watch out for a video of that as well. The original of this painting will be available in my shop at WhitneyPageArt.com. And I've also created some prints going forward. I may also do some glitter prints of this because I think Sailor Moon and glitter go hand in hand. Alright loves, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and I will see you next time. Love you. Bye.